Hello. I've just finished making these two planters from a couple of old Wellington boots. And as you can see, it looks a bit lethal. I've put some wire through the back so I can attach it to my railings outside. But that's just my choice. I'm going to show you how to do this with some Wellingtons. There's another pair, they're nice and pretty, they're very bright. I just picked these up from a car boot cell. I'm going to do the same thing with these. Here we go. First of all, we need some holes for drainage. So you can use anything sharp. I've got a, a little screw and a screwdriver. I'm just going to find the the place on the shell which is oops <laughs> which is least resistant. There you go. And you can try anything to put a hole in it. But this works for me. So you need several holes in the bottom to let the walls not. Otherwise the plant will drown. So I'll just I'll come back and finish these in a second. So because I'm going to put this on a railing, I'm going to put a hole through here and through here and thread a piece of wire through. I've got I'm using a, uh, a coat hanger. Here's one. Oops, here's one I've cut earlier. I'm going to thread this through here and I'll be able to hang it onto the railing. Once again, I'll use the screw and screwdriver to make the hole. Just about here. But if you just want the planter in your garden without attached, to anything you can just leave it as it is or if you want it on the back of a fence or something just hanging you can put a little hole here sometimes you get wellies with loops on the top which is ideal for that and you just hook it onto something okay and a hole the other side the same place. There we go, I'll show you what I'm doing. Isn't it amazing how your tongue comes up when you're doing something like this? It just does. <laughs> it's actually quite soft material so it's, it's not difficult to get a sharp object through. I'm going to put about six holes here 